Local fishermen are calling it a plague. Millions of cannonball jellyfish choking waters across Venezuela's coastline. You used to see a little one every now and then. Now it's like there are flowers in the sea. Now it's too much, too much, too much. The swarm seemed to appear out of nowhere. It's thousands of miles from where this species is normally found in the Atlantic, Pacific and Gulf coasts. The invasive jellyfish is filling fishing nets and crowding out other species. And it's having a severe impact on the fishing and tourism that locals depend on. When you dive in the water to look for fish, you brush against a lot of jellyfish with your head, your body, you get stung a lot. We can't look for fish right now, we're completely stuck. Weekly hauls have dropped to less than a fifth of what they once were. Local organizers say it's the industry's biggest decline in recent years. Venezuela's environment ministry says warming waters caused by climate change, pollution and overfishing may be to blame. Scientists in the capital are trying to pinpoint the exact cause of the invasion. This is an atypical event that's occurring. It's a complete anomaly. In previous years, only a few have been observed. However, the increase in the population this year has completely exceeded previous estimates. Jellyfish populations around the world have soared in recent years. They thrive in harsh conditions and need very little oxygen. And researchers are warning of a looming tipping point where jellyfish could overwhelm other species and dominate the world's oceans. Alexandra Byers, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.